Okay, here we're going to look at creating a template page in Mahara. So the template has been built for you, all you need to do is to add it onto your own portfolio so that you can then fill in the blanks. So from the dashboard, I'm just going to click into my portfolio. And you'll see at the top of the page, we have a create page button and a copy a page button. The button we want to use is copy a page. This will now show me all of the pages that I have available that I'm allowed to copy. That includes any page that I've created and also pages that other people might have shared with the button tick to say allow copying. Now, the template page that I'm actually looking for is the MMUS template for piano. Now, if you're not sure which template you might have two or three visible to you, you can click on it, take a quick look, make sure this is the correct one and then just close it. So having previewed that, I'm now going to click on the copy a page button. And that's it. This is now available for me to edit for my own personal use. Any changes that I make to this copy aren't made for anyone else. They're only to my version of it. So I'm just going to rename this as my personal demo of the MMUS template. Obviously you would rename this to something within the context of your studies. So I'll just click save and that's the name changed for me. You'll see within this we have boxes that are labelled instruction. This is simply to give you information about what to do with the box immediately underneath. So in this case the biography section it says click on the edit box and display tick on the display buttons for first name and surname and information and your profile picture. So I click on the edit button for biography then this will load up okay so the biography section has now loaded up and I'll click first name, last name, introduction and I'll show my profile picture and then I'll just click save and that is just pulled through straight away into this page. Having done that I can now delete the instruction section. Going to the next instruction I have to upload my learning contract so when I click here to configure it, if you've already uploaded the contract you just click select. If you haven't, you just go through the usual upload file process. Browse, find the relevant file on your computer. I'll just take this one as a demonstration and I'll delete it later. And there it is, uploaded and I'll just click save. And there is the file for my learning contract. With your tutor reports, what we've asked for here is if you can create a folder in your Mahara files and publish all of your tutor reports into it. Then when you go to edit the tutor report section, you just click here and you should have a folder that says tutor reports. You just select it and then that displays all of the files in one place for your tutor to view. If you haven't actually created that folder, have a look at the video on creating a folder and adding files to it. So if you just follow the rest of the instructions, that will take you through step by step how to add individual items onto this particular template page. Let's say for example I had participated uh, as an accompanist for a s uh, vocal artist. I would just add the details in here and that's it. Click save and that's changed and that's only changed in my page. And I'll now click done. So there we have the template page that I can see because I created it. 
and also we have a little bit further down my personal demo. If I click on that, that now has the new changes that I have made but the original doesn't have those changes and that's all you need to do.